So, what do you think has made Common Sense a superior publication compared to others in the area? I think one, we come out every two school weeks, which helps us communicate better with the audience of the school and then connect better too. I think also just the quality of our articles, content, our creativity too, how we design, how we cover topics. It's just something that I'm really proud to be a part of. I was thinking, I mean, I'm a little bit biased with this, but like a review of last year's Lit Mag. I feel like a lot of people don't know about Lit That's Mag. That's a great idea, because it didn't come out until after school was over, so a lot of people never saw it. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a good thing to do with arts, like spend the whole page on it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I am Christina Tsakos, and I am an arts page editor. I joined my junior year, because I did journalism my sophomore, but I couldn't join the team to my junior. This has been my favorite class, you know. Um, I think that being with this team, I don't know, being with the team that we all work together to have one goal that we can actually hold in our hands, like one physical, you know what I mean? It's just, it's a really rewarding um, thing to be a part of. Is anyone easily offended? Because I can do a pretty good Arab, and I'm like, right. <laughs> wait. I'm Joe Poparillis, and I'm one of the editors-in-chief. Like other papers across the county, they're making single-digit issues a year, and I mean, they're all fine and everything, but we're constantly distributing, editing, all this other stuff, and we're making a really good product. But I think just, I mean, I can't speak for papers across the country, but just the the staff we have here and the environment we have here, I think is just really great and it's a good um, team and community. Do you want to do it right now? So, I'll just join Joe. All right. Um, as a student athlete, do you find it difficult to balance your time between uh, being on a team or and, um, and being on the paper? Um, well, I think for most people it can be difficult. Yeah, I mean, but, for sure. Uh, personally, uh, with Miss Starr, I just go and I ask, uh, is it okay if I miss? I have practice today. She goes, yeah, that's fine. Just make sure you come for the next day. And sometimes, like, I'll switch with someone. I'll say, hey, I'll take your editors tomorrow if you take my editors today. Just so that way, everybody's even. I get more editors the second day. But mm -hmm. that way, hey, we keep the newspaper rolling. That's yeah, it. That's keep it rolling. How to game the system. But the teachers game the system the same way. Right? We purposely make the first marking period harder so that we hope you get a B so that you'll still work hard in the second marking period to try to get that A. That's cool. You, you expose, uh, that's it. I, I quit this school. I quit this school. I'm failing math right now. How do we do this? We are well aware if you get an A in the first marking period, you check out second marking period. Yep. So, 100%. Yeah, I got seven. My name is Eva Starr, and I'm the advisor of Common Sense Newspaper and also an English teacher. I think our main advantage is uh, speed. We come out so often so that our news, our, all of our content is able to be much more timely and relevant. Across all of our content, we are writing about things that are happening right now and our readers are reading about things that are happening right now rather than things that happened a month ago or maybe even six weeks ago, which is not relevant anymore. I think having Miss Starr as our teacher is really good because she uh, wanted to be a journalist and study journalism and having her as a mentor has really helped everybody. I also think we have a really dedicated staff that works really, really hard to cover a range of topics and include a range of voices and perspectives and do the work, the journalistic work of research and interviewing that is required to do good journalism. And I think that you all push each other all the time to do it better. But when a piece of writing has been researched, edited, and sanctioned with a stamp of approval, it becomes official, not just Facebook official. Your picture printed in a newspaper will always be more significant than your picture posted online. You just don't get ink on your fingers staring at a computer screen. Well, I would say maybe because I spent, after a television career, after a 10-year television career, I turned to the newspaper and I was an editor 
I started as a writer and then became the managing editor of a newspaper. And I know that there was a lot of interest lost in newspapers from the time I started until the time I ended. So I loved the job, we had a great following, but I also knew too from hearing from other people, they were getting their news elsewhere. Oh, you see it now where it's like people are going more from print to online. I think it's pretty cool just seeing how it's changed so much. So I know like Fox Sports, for example, they're going a lot more to video and investing a lot there. The like basics of what we do are the same. The design skills are much more sophisticated now, and I think design in general has improved a lot since the late 80s. I feel like the content has also changed in the way we do journalism. Like, it's definitely a lot more about current issues and political issues, and we have more coverage of those things. Uh, it's exciting. I think you all are doing it better than we did it in high school. When you have a diverse staff, you have people that are comfortable and experienced talking about certain topics. And that produces better stories. We, we have a range of um, interests on our staff. I think we're a really eclectic group of students. It's not like everyone is the same kind of student. You know, we have athletes and theater people and Model UN people and, you know, all different kinds of interests on the staff, so I do think we do a good job of covering a range of topics. Without newspaper, we probably wouldn't be in the same classes. For, um, for issues that need, like, photos, we, like, emphasize, like, diversity from either, like, all grades as well as racially diverse. I think that diversity is something that always can be approved upon within our staff. We're not as diverse as I would like us to be. That's been an issue for as long as I have been involved in journalism. It's an issue for journalists at a, at a national level, you know, having a diverse range of voices so that we're representing a diverse range of readers. It is something I have always, always been concerned about and worked hard to, to try to make right. Maybe some students feel like their opinion's not um, of value because they haven't been given the opportunity to share their opinion as much as they would have liked to maybe in the past and didn't necessarily prepare them to take um, a course such as that. I think like we, we know what we're looking for in terms of a newspaper and if we know that this looks pretty good, I think just ourselves knowing that all these people have worked hard on it and that we've worked hard to pull it all together, I think just by itself, with before anyone's even seen it, it's like, okay, we did pretty well yeah. on this issue. Absolutely, I love my time on Common Sense during sophomore year and going from like staff writer to um, back page editor to design editor, like the progression. Yeah, I've definitely learned a lot more about myself and I've improved in my different skills. High school experience is really awesome. I mean, there's so much access to information. People want to talk. It's, it's still like a, like a good environment to practice those um, skills and even if you make a few mistakes it's not as like high stakes as like real world stuff so I think it's a good, good environment to get into that. In high school I've been able to figure out like where my strengths are and just that experience in itself is something really beneficial and you can always get that in college but I think it's better to start earlier on. Mm -hmm. So, do you plan on pursuing the journalism career in college and beyond? Yes. It's definitely something I want to do as a career. Not as a career. Um, I feel like the skills I've learned in journalism, I will definitely use with me in whatever career I choose to pursue, though. I think I definitely plan on joining the school paper in my college. I hope to incorporate it. If I'm not like a journalist, I still hope I can incorporate journalistic skills. Yeah, I want to do the college newspaper. Uh, no, I thought about it at one time, but no. I definitely have uh, enjoyed being a part of the staff. I'd say just reading some of the issues, just seeing all the work that people put in and how awesome it looks and how much it means to people in this community too. Uh, people talking about different articles and things like that. I took journalism when I was a sophomore in high school. I assume I needed an elective and it sounded interesting. I really, I don't remember. 
but I loved it. You know, it's, life is so funny. It's like you just sort of walk a path and one step takes you to the next step. I think I just kept following what I liked to do. I think that's the best way to figure out a life. Figure out what it is that you enjoy and keep working hard and moving in that direction. And the things that aren't fun, move in another direction. I like school. I like teenagers. I like talking about writing and design and um, the creative aspects of this and watching students grow and learn like year after year. That's really fun for me. So I kept just sort of kept moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. And that's where I ended up. <laughs> okay, so um, do you have any advice for future journalism students, people who want to you know, possibly join a high school newspaper or get involved in any way? Challenge yourself. I mean, choose articles that you're very passionate about and that you think can challenge you. And I think that that challenge in itself it will help you become a better writer. I'm Marissa Silverman and I'm 17, I'm a junior. I think the most important thing is to read. I think that pe people don't read enough. So just reading a lot of, and a range of stuff. I'm Emily Eichberg, I am a junior. Write about new stuff. Write about something you haven't heard about before or write about something that would challenge the opinions of other people. And I think just that in itself would bring in other cultures, other ideas, other opinions and encourage people to actually read the newspaper more. I'm Demi Ellen Bogan and I'm also a Read and look at other design formats and from professional journalists and writers and I think absorbing what they're putting out, you can model yourself after and become better in that sense. Oh, I'm Jack Rothenberg, I'm 16 years old. When you take the journalism semester class, really listen and learn because all of those tricks, all of those different article formats, all of the photography rules, everything is used actually in newspapers. Yeah. I'm Quinn Luganfield, I'm 15. Try to be creative and push your creative boundaries. I'm Zara Dennison, and I'm also 15. Get ready and just like be prepared for a fun experience. I'm Anna Baldwin, I'm 17. My name is Christina Liu and I'm 15. I like, I want to say just like be yourself, but that's not really advice. Yeah, it is. It's a... But it's also just not good advice. <laughs> <laughs> I really want us to be the best we can possibly be because I care a lot about newspaper and like I love being a part of something that does so well and I think that's because of the people in it. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, that's great.